Hello guys, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. This is the third part of the ventilator series. I like to request if you are watching first, you begin with the first part of this series. In this video, we will learn about ventilator modes and their definition in simplified manner without going into difficult technicalities. Let's begin with volume controlled ventilation modes. Let's first start with volume control, continuous mandatory ventilation. In this volume controlled ventilation mode, the patient receives the set tidal volume with every mandatory breath. The applied breathing volume is independent of changes in the lung mechanics. The number of mandatory breath is defined by the frequency. This means that the minute volume remains constant over time. Next mode of volume control ventilation is volume control, assist control. The patient always receives at least the set tidal volume. In volume control assist control, Every detected inspiration effort of the patient at PEEP level triggers an additional mandatory breath. The patient thus determines the number of additional mandatory breaths. To give the patient sufficient time for expiration, it is not possible to trigger another mandatory breath immediately after a completed breath. Next mode of volume control ventilation is volume control. Synchronized Intermittent Mandatory Ventilation In volume-controlled synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation, the patient is supplied with the set tidal volume during the mandatory breaths. The mandatory breaths are synchronized with the patient's own breathing attempts. To prevent a mandatory breaths from being applied during spontaneous expiration, a patient-triggered mandatory breath can only be triggered within a trigger window. If the expiration phase, and with it, the spontaneous breathing time is shortened on account of synchronization, the next expiration phase will be extended. This adaptation prevents a change in the number of mandatory breaths. Next mode of volume control ventilation is volume control, mandatory minute volume. Volume control, mandatory minute volume guarantees that the patient always receives at least the set minute volume. The applied time-cycled, machine-triggered mandatory breaths are synchronized with the breathing effort of the patient. The patient can always breathe spontaneously at PEEP level. If the spontaneous breathing of the patient is insufficient to achieve the set minute volume, machine-triggered time-cycled mandatory breaths are applied. These mandatory breaths are synchronized with the patient's own breathing attempts. Let's move on to the pressure controlled ventilation mode. Pressure control, continuous mandatory ventilation. The tidal volume supplied to the patient depends on the pressure difference between PEEP and inspiratory pressure, the lung mechanics and the breathing effort of the patient. The number of mandatory breaths is defined by the breathing frequency. The mandatory breaths are machine triggered and not triggered by the patient. Another mode is pressure control assist control. In pressure control assist control, every detected breathing attempt at PEEP level triggers a mandatory breath. The patient thus determines the number of additional mandatory breaths. In order to give the patient sufficient time for expiration, it is not possible to trigger another mandatory breath immediately after a completed breath. If after the completion of the expiratory time, no mandatory breath has been triggered, a mandatory breath is automatically applied back up frequency. The adjuster for the respiratory rate therefore defines the minimum ventilation frequency. Next mode in pressure control is pressure control, synchronized, intermittent, mandatory ventilation. In pressure control, synchronized, intermittent, mandatory ventilation, the patient can breathe spontaneously at any time. But the number of mandatory breaths is specified. 
The mandatory breaths are synchronized with the patient's own breathing attempts. A patient-triggered mandatory breath can only be triggered within a trigger window. If the expiration phase, and with it the spontaneous breathing time is shortened on account of synchronization, the next expiration phase will be extended. This adaptation prevents a change in the number of mandatory breaths. Next mode in pressure control is pressure control by phasic positive airway pressure. In the pressure control by phasic positive airway pressure mode, the patient can breathe spontaneously at any time, but the number of mandatory breaths is specified. In this mode, the mandatory breaths are synchronized with the breathing attempts of the patient, both for inspiration and expiration. If the mandatory breath is shortened on account of the synchronization with expiration, the next mandatory breath is extended. Synchronization with inspiration shortens the expiration phase. Here, the subsequent expiratory time is extended by the missing time period. This prevents an increase in the set mandatory breathing frequency. If no spontaneous breathing attempt is detected during the inspiratory trigger window, the machine-triggered mandatory breath are applied. Next mode in pressure control is pressure control airway pressure release ventilation. In pressure control airway pressure release ventilation, the patient's spontaneous breathing takes place at the upper pressure level, high pressure. This pressure level, high pressure, is maintained for the duration of phi. To execute an active expiration, the pressure is reduced for the brief period low tidal to low pressure. To support CO2 elimination, the pressure is reduced to plow for the brief period low tidal. The alternation between the two pressure levels is machine triggered and time cycled. The breathing volume expired during the relief times results from the pressure difference between low pressure and high pressure and the lung mechanics. If the resistance or compliance of the lung changes during the ventilation treatment, the supplied tidal volume and thus the minute volume also vary. Next mode in pressure control is pressure control pressure support ventilation. In pressure control pressure support ventilation, the patient can breathe spontaneously at PEEP level. Every detected inspiration effort can be pressure supported. The absolute level of pressure support is defined by inspiratory pressure. The duration of inspiration is flow cycled and thus depends on the lung mechanics of the patient. The patient determines the number, point of time and duration of the pressure supported mandatory breaths. If the breathing frequency of this patient is lower than the set backup respiratory rate or there is no spontaneous breathing, machine triggered flow cycled mandatory breaths with a set pressure inspiratory pressure are applied. In the next video, we'll cover up spontaneous assisted ventilation, neonatal ventilation modes, and dual more or advanced modes of ventilators. Till then, keep watching Biomedical Engineers TV. See you guys in the next video.